So as you guys are well aware, I um, met us recently undertook to have a Learn With Why workshop, uh, very much based on the Simon Sinek Find Your Why. And what we're going to do today is just hear a little bit back from everybody in the team and what their take was on that workshop, um, as it is very important that absolutely everyone in your company is involved in that workshop to get a variety of views. So enjoy what they have to say. Well, the key value that I got out of the workshop was the fact that you can't do anything without having a good reason to do it, otherwise you probably aren't going to do it to the best of your abilities. It's basically seeing us all work together as a team, and not just a team, as a family. And I think that's something that radiates myself just through life, I guess, is um, that interconnection that every human being or everything on this planet should actually have. I think Beta's kind of hits that for me. Well, I know personally um, myself, I sometimes struggle to get my point across. Um, but it's also nice to have everyone around you as then they're there to kind of give you um, their in insights and then you kind of build on that. Um, so that was really great. And yeah, I think also just bonding with the team seeing how everyone sees things differently um, and how you see things differently and then you're yeah, most importantly finding your why. I think that we can get stuck in our just day to day of getting up and getting the day started and going to work and pushing out whatever we need to push out at work and going home and eating and sleeping and doing it all again the next day and I think by finding your why and then also your company's why you just kind of start to find your purpose of why you actually do get up in the morning and with that extra passion is um, I think you just enjoy things more and I think when you enjoy things more you just do a better job so I think that's why it's important to find your why. As the latest member of the Metis team I took away that we have such a great team that's very inventive and they love to be around each other and although some of them know each other for many many years they're still coming up with different ideas different concepts and different ways of thinking about things um, I think some people here have known each other for over uh, 10 years yet they might have the same the same um, attributes let's put it that way but they still think so differently and I think taking all of those ideas that we had and putting them together for our why statement um, took us a while but um, we eventually got there. Um, my favorite segment of the workshop was um, when we took the time to reflect back on all of our favorite moments here at Metis. Um, because when we're doing these things, we don't actually have the time to sit back and take it all in. So when we actually got to do that, the, we got to realize how much we've actually done and what we've accomplished and achieved. And it was good to look back at that. Yeah, so, the common thing that came through on the workshop day was um, one of our social responsibility events we recently held. Um, that was for the WOW project and I think it came up um, the strongest because it sort of showed who we all are as people are as people um, <laughs> and um, just kind of where our love for dogs, um, our love for sort of our community, and um, yeah, to raise funds for a really good cause. I think it's very important for any size company to do their discover your why task exercise. Um, it's very important because companies need to know what kind of clients they want to attract and why they would want to attract them. Um, so most clients come to me and they don't even know why they are doing what they're doing and so 
if they had to do this task, it would help them discover their why. What was my favorite segment? <laughs> Someone remind me. The wrong one, sorry. Okay, Terry. What? No, it's a very easy question. I just it's uh, it's too easy for me. What's the question again? <laughs> So, um, I think all the spoons. At the beginning, um, wait, let me restart that one. Um, also, I'm going to start the question again.